I sometimes do, and still raise all the world's people like me and you and you. Can I get a window? I can barely make it, but always do, and still raise all the world's people like me and you and you. Thank you, everybody. Academy, sorry. Right. Next Prince we have Kilo G. Happy birthday, Kilo G. Happy birthday to me and Kilo G. Right here. I'm sorry. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all enjoy celebrating Malcolm X's birthday. If y'all really here to celebrate Malcolm X's birthday, pop your fist in the air and hold it there. If you really, really here to celebrate Malcolm X's birthday, if you really here without a hidden agenda, keep your fists up. Because that's what it's all about. Because that's what I'm all about. Solidarity. If you ain't preaching unity, then you're preaching division. And we're here today for unity. That's what they're saying about. Huh? I said we preaching unity here today. I said, but if we not here for unity, then we don't need to be here. Because I'm talking about Bayview Hunter's point. I've been on the front line since Kenneth Harden was killed. But I also was on the front line when Peanut Johnson was killed. His name was Larry Johnson. Right? What's his name? Matthew Johnson that got killed in 1966 during the 1966 uprising. And I know a lot of you ain't paying attention, but that's what happened at Bayview Hunters Point. We are no strangers to death because every few seconds, a kid is killed by a gun. And that gun is a police gun. And I want to say that for a fact because you got on a t-shirt that says Black Lives Matter. But to the society, it doesn't. And it's up to us to desegregate ourselves. Because right now, today, black people can't go to every neighborhood. You can't go to every city. You can't go across the bridge to Oakland. A lot of San Francisco guys, you know what I'm saying? So we are, as a people, are still segregated. I want to bring up this good brother here that's talking about the segregation of our people and how Pro destroy our black families. And how we are here today to celebrate what Malcolm X said. By any means necessary, we're supposed to get it back. By any means necessary. And I'm a real revolutionary. And I've been to prison, I lived this. This is not no show, I lived it. I was in segregation, I was in the shoe program, and I'm telling you, I know what the system got for you. We still getting played by the system. Don't be deceived when you cast your vote. Don't think the mayor is going to change his mind. Don't think Malia is going to change her mind. They not. We getting played by the system. And I want y'all to know that. When you leave here today, you will know for a fact that a real soldier from Pelican Bay to San Quentin. I know about the movement, the solidarity movement. How many of y'all heard about... Um, Black August. Anybody know about Black August? Who started Black August? George Jackson. He started it in prison. He started this movement in prison to desegregate prison. And y'all don't even know prison is desegregated. But y'all don't hear me though. Prison is, des is segregated. Whites over here, blacks over here, you can't eat with the Mexicans, you can't go over here. The police will kill you if you cross the line. Just like church. Just like church. We're still segregated. Until we desegregate and decolonize ourselves, we're going to keep continuing to be and suffer from post-traumatic slave syndrome. Good evening, my sisters and brothers. My name is not important, but it's James Lockett. I'm born and raised in West Oakland and Hunters Point. And I shot it out with the National Guard. I shot it out with the police on West Point and Middle Point. When we shot it out with the police on West Point and Middle Point, 
we was having a gang for war against South Park. But when the police came up there talking about drop your guns, we told them to drop theirs. Hollis Point and South Park came together and we shot it out with the police. They put tanks and shit around here. But we got we got through the tanks and shit. We went through the slaughterhouse. We, where they were scared to go. We went through the slaughterhouse and junkyard, ended up on Mission Street and came back with some more guns. But that ain't what I'm here to say. What I'm here to say is, first of all, I want y'all to all understand, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a mental health consumer. A lot of us are mental health consumers and don't know it and don't want to accept it. But ain't nothing wrong with being a mental health consumer as long as you have it under control. Now, my thing is this. My thing is re-education, not education, re-education. Because we've been taught the wrong shit. We've been talking the wrong shit. We've been talking about George Washington was the leader of our country. George Washington was a slaveholder himself. And guess what? So was Abe Lincoln. Now, I don't like Barbara Lee and a lot of our great politicians, but some of them don't even know that Abe Lincoln, before the war, and before the war, the Civil War, Abe Lincoln offered Jeff Davis 40 more years of slavery if the whites wouldn't fight whites. 40 more years of slavery. But when he did the proclamation of emancipation, guess what? They not only had tricks up their sleeves, they had tricks in their mind. They had A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And when A ran out, they went to B. When B ran out, they went to C. Now we down to chemical warfare, chemical slavery. And if we don't know and get some re-education, we gonna still be enslaved. We still enslaved down here. And for those of us that are on drugs, believe me, it ain't our fault. What is our fault is that we don't try to get off or handle it. That's our fault, that we don't try to get off and handle it. And so now let's come together, be together, and start being one people and, and, and claim all of us are none. All of us are none. Say it loud. Because we all the same people. On Market Street, a month ago, they was talking about all the good districts except Bayview Hunters Point. They was talking about change, baby, you and Hunter's Point. They ain't had no wars. They ain't fought nothing in, in, in South Park, in the outer mission, like we did here with the National Guard. We stopped the National Guard at the top of Burnett. We stopped them from coming up to here because they wouldn't come up in the projects because we were shooting back. <laughs> we were shooting back. But now, hear me well. Okay. Remember this here. Abe Lincoln didn't really mean us that much good, but I appreciate the Emancipation Proclamation, but I also know that he offered 40 more years of slavery for us. So now, and we still enslaved, chemical slavery chemical slavery and as long as we continue to kill each other over their property over their property we don't we don't own shit cause you buy a house what what do that mean you don't own the block but now I don't want to get too deep into this but I just want to say one thing cause a whole lot of us don't know about our, uh, some of our greatest, some of our greatest revolutionaries. One of our greatest revolutionaries took a village the size of Double Rock 
and built the whole South Africa. Built the whole South Africa. Now y'all have to excuse me because I forgot his name, but he is my mentor. But God is good. God gave it back to me just now. His name is Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu. They waited till the 90s to make movies about him because they didn't want us to know. They made two movies about him. Shaka Zulu was the greatest black man in my mind that I can remember. The greatest military strategy. The greatest military strategy that brother know. So now, we have got to come together and stand up because they want to change us. They want to change Bayview. Where in the hell is we going? To the bay? I can't swim. <laughs> Shit, what I'm going to do? <laughs> Ride on somebody's back? Okay, so we got to rest of you. Thank you for that lovely God time. bless y'all. Thank you, thank you. All right, so here we go. Real wisdom, homegrown local root of wisdom from the Bayview Hunters Point community. Give it up. All right, we're about to have our closing performer uh, for the evening. But uh, uh, real quick before I bring him on, I want to give a shout out to JJ's Fish and Chicken. JJ's came through. We hit up a lot of different restaurants up here in the community. And they came through, and they brought us pans and chicken for folk to eat, keep people's bodies nourished. So want to give love to them. want to give love to the Kenneth Harding Jr. Foundation for bringing some food, for bringing some IG supplies, keeping it up. Uh, our last performer is a local MC uh, coming out of the Fillmore District of San Francisco, laying it down heavy. Uh, speaking truth to power, excellent MC, excellent artist, we're real happy to have him here, closing out our, our Malcolm yeah. X Day, San Francisco. So I want everyone to put their hands together for Selassie. Yeah! Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey thank y'all very much, everybody, today here at Malcolm X Day. I wanted to say a couple of things before I started to, to rhyme. You know, um, I'm going to talk about a little bit about myself, but... Um, also Malcolm X, you know, Malcolm X, what he taught me is how you have to be able to sustain yourself. You have to be able to take care of yourself. And when I look at this community, when I look at my black communities all over the nation, it really hurts me because we're not able to take care of ourselves, and we have all those resources available to us. Right now, today, black people in this community have spent probably close to thirty to twenty thousand dollars in the liquor stores every day every day we do that every day we are giving away our money and we do not take advantage of economics to build up ourselves so we don't have to ask the man for nothing i got a way right now that can save black people all over the world if we wanted to take care of ourselves right now i'm going to tell you what the plan is and it's very very simple all every black person or anybody that loves black people or poor people and want to save them all you got to do is give five dollars a week five dollars a week two hundred and forty dollars a year times 13 to 20 million people a year Somebody can do the mathematics on the calculator right now. That's a good thing for one of these youngsters to do. What is 13 million times 240? Somebody with a calculator do that right now. Let's do some shit right now in the ghetto and figure out what we sitting on right now. I said $240 a year, $5 a week from every black person times 13 million. Tell me how much money that is in one year. Somebody got to get that on the calculator and pull that up. 13 million times 240. I ain't super good with math. But let me see it. Let me see it, the little sister. Okay, yeah, put in uh, 13 million times 240. I got it, baby. She got it. And I'm going to show y'all right now what we could do. There she go. She got 13 million times, wait, that's I think a billion, 
Wait, we'll take, away, take away the three, I think, myself. Hold on now. How many zeros in the, in the, in the building? It's six. six. Yeah, that's nine, honey. So that's nine. All right, baby, I'm taking a hit. That's all right, I got you. That's a, yo, so just back it up them three. Right, that's nine. Come on. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. I don't do calculators. That's no, it's all good, it's all good. Hold on. What's the number? 13 million, and then do three, yeah, six sixes. Uh-huh. There we go. Wait, wait. Oh, one more, one more. Uh huh. There we go. Times two hundred and forty. Damn. Three billion one hundred twenty million. That's three billion one hundred and twenty million that we could create in one year to start to rebuild our community and start to create jobs to where we could begin to take care of ourselves. I want people to really understand that when you think about Malcolm X and when you think about what he was trying to do for our community to where we could take care of ourselves and we don't have to ask nobody for nothing. That's the main thing that Malcolm X has taught me without, with, with the whole bunch of other stuff too. So I hope that really sinks to y'all right at one time. You know what I'm saying? Do for self and you'll have all the wealth if that's what you want to do. So y'all, I'm going to do a couple of songs, but maybe just a song or two. But really, I just wanted to come and show my solidarity with the community and show my solidarity with the people. It doesn't matter if it's 15 of us, it's 15 aware people as opposed to 40 million that ain't aware, you know what I mean? So more love to everybody that's here. I'm going to do a song called Cops Keep Firing. I don't really need to do a hook or nothing like that, but I'm going to do three verses. And this is a shout out to all the brothers and sisters that have been killed. Oscar Grant, Kenneth Harding, Alan Bluford, Andy Lopez, Ernesto Dunez, Romali Graham, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick McDade, Eric Garner, O'Shea Evans, Idris, Staley, James Rivera, Mario Ramirez. So sad we have to say all the names. Rest in peace. And my boy Cameron Boyd, killed by the police at Hunters Point. This is called Cops Keep Firing. What happened to freeze or put your hands up high? A simple traffic stop with the pigs, a brother might die. I ask why we let it slide and never bust back. Would you only comfortable shooting a gun if your target is black? But anyway, this new Jim Crow breeze, these killer cops, the real terrorists and agitators patrolling our block. Man, my hands on the steering wheel, why your hands on your clock? I was just reached for my insurance and registration out the glove box. In high school, they used to be punks. They insecure little trunks, so they get a job at the force so they can dunk. 50 shots of the brown in the black, a coward only shoot you in the back. Killing all our citizens, what's up with that? Oh, bootsy ass, I thought it was a taser ass pin. Protective custody, the only way that Mezzalia live. 10,000 young people killed by the police From Kenneth Party and HP To Kamani Gray in the East It's gotta cease This so-called war on drugs and mass incarceration Prison labor, death penalty, or LWOP Got a racially profiling cause they think we all wildin' What you pull me over for son, your descriptions I fit none I ain't the one like Ice Cube so don't come at me rude You get respect to get respect young pig, I'm from the old school But I ain't no fool, I keep my hands where we can see him He said I'll kill you if you move, I took his word, I believed him He's got the upper hand now but hopefully not for long That's the intentions and purpose behind me making this song We gotta fight for something or die for nothing at all We gotta stand for something or fear my people will crawl Let's police ourselves, make our own justice system Raise a nation of lawyers and protect all the veil mixes When they get out of prison, come home and protect the hood By any means necessary, you protect our hood, make sure it's good yeah. 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 What is suspicious behavior or appearance? Is that your racist excuse for your stopping French pig? We ain't trying to hear it Realtized occupation along with racist legislation Gives the purity for killers with a badge, no hesitation Black communities must organize for our own self defenses No more passes resistance if we want to preserve our existence I'm taking our human rights violations to United Nations I'm bringing up criminal charges for this police lawlessness My motto prays the gods but pass me some ammunition I'm willing to die for my people, it's time you make that decision now if you're scared of a hearse, then take your ass to church Cause if you stand up to the pigs, you can die when you stand in the dirt Every 36 hours, a brother's killed by the pigs This is a nationwide call to protect our kids Whether it's an eye for an eye, or a two for a tooth Let's make these motherfucking cops think twice before they kill me and you Stand up for the hood, fool yeah. Yeah. Thank you
Thank you. My name is Selassie. I'm going to do one more. And I'd love to just talk to the people at the end and figure out how we can continue to do these type of things to build awareness to the black community. Because really, I was hoping the entire Hunters Point would be down here for Malcolm X Day today. And we have to continue to point the ones out who don't do that, who don't come to the hood to come and take care of the hood. The ones who do it on Facebook, the ones who talk all that shit, but don't really come to where they need to come to really represent. So, you know, everybody that's here, we can continue to push this and continue to build it to make sure that we get every black and brown person that's sitting in their home in Hunters Point right now that need to be down here celebrating the memory and the legacy of Malcolm X because all he wanted for us was nothing of this. He wanted us to own our own property. He wanted us to own our own schools. He wanted us to, to, to teach the youngsters to grow up to be attorneys and doctors and, and physicists. He didn't want us to be fucking rappers, selling dope, killing each other, creating the fucking Misery, misery and the poverty that we see and having the youngsters don't have no alternative to do nothing besides go to jail because we ain't giving them what they need to succeed in this white man's world. If I have to die right now for that little youngster to have a future, I'll be a dead motherfucker. And that's what we gotta do if we gonna be able to take care of ourselves in America. So Revolution starts with brothers thinking like some revolutionaries. Fuck being scary. You gonna get shot and then buried? Let it be for a real cause, not for dope in your jaws. Man, I ride for the cause only if we pop in the law. I never pop a young brother, no matter how he tried to get over. Teach the value of himself and train his mind to be a soldier. He's a valuable piece of the worldwide puzzle, worldwide struggle. We dealing with society's muscle. You've adapted his customs and turned yourself into Uncle Sam's children. You eat up all his food and you worship his religion. What you call sinning, I call winning. It's heaven where you live in, but it's hell I'm living in. Congressman, senators, local state legislation Don't give a fuck how we feeling or how my life situation Goes hand in hand with the overall plan to keep us down The underground's locked so we down like the ground Never frown and keep your head up and smile for pop And bow to the guys that won't stop till the casket drop Never flip flop, fuck a radio station For corporate exploitation and industrial raping I'm a young brother with the heart of a million Africans If a white boy gets a hollering nigga, I'ma slap him Clap, clap him, black, black him, brother, it's over once we get in this game and change the hood, it's all over. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Rest in peace, young brother. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'm going to do this last track to get everybody to understand that we need to gravitate toward back to Africa. Some people, they'll talk about, oh man, I ain't no African, I ain't got nothing to do with African. You know, African Americans primarily were stolen and brought to this land. There's no other people, and Malcolm X preached this a lot and really made this known to everybody, that we were stolen Africans. This is something that we were, that no other people has ever been involved with, where you get taken from your geographical homeland, you get transported 3,000 miles to somewhere else, you, do, you don't have any of your culture, and you're enslaved to be this economic vehicle for a country. Uh, the slaves, we were doing that for 350 years, longer than America's been in inception. So this motherfucker was accepted 1776 is 2015, maybe 233 years. African Americans were enslaved for over 350 years. A fucking cycle, 400 years, a cycle that continued to go. That said, if you continue to do this to these people, it will affect them for generations. Take a look around. We have the homelessness, we have the poverty, we have the miseducation. We have all this shit that we fell victim to. This white man, and it's not just the white man. It's not the average white man, the person with the color of the skin that's white. It's those agenda setters that just so happen to be white. Now, if they ain't white, I'll go as far as to say they're some aliens or some shit. But as far as I know, they got white skin, and it gives white people a bad name, in my opinion. But I'm saying we have to understand the, the problems that got us here, and we have to create our own solutions. And I think having a connection with Africa is the first place to start. 
where you can identify with your geographical homeland. You can say, my whole family and my ancestry has been messed up because of slavery. And we don't know 150 years back where we come from. We know we come from Africa, but we don't know where. But that does not take away the fact that you're an African. And if we get back to that and stop saying, oh, I'm not an African. I ain't got nothing to do with Africa. I'm from Detroit. Motherfucker, you are an African and accept your Africanness and accept your blackness. So I'm going to kick this song. It's called Africa. What you know about Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, on the border with Libya, under which Chad in the center of the motherland, to the right is Sudan, to the north you got Egypt, it's not the Middle East, trick connected to Africa, right there you see it, hey separate, let the Red Sea flow to Eritrea, chill in Ethiopia, next to Somalia, then we go to Kenya, dip to Rwanda, on the border with Uganda, Burundi, Congo, Angola, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, my soldiers, I see ya, Nambia, Malawi, Mozambique, Madagascar, 600 miles to the east, South Africa, Botswana, up the Atlantic to Gabon, on the border with Cameroon, Oops, Cameroon, Nigeria, share the border with Niger to Liberia, Ghana, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Gambia, Sierra Leone, Benin, Togo, Mauritania, Senegal to the western Sahara, I'm a soldier to the fullest, my knowledge is sick and then it's spraying like bullets, house nigga, young brothers never want to step to me, a revolutionary G from the San Francisco city, I'm Selassie the Great, brother your heart is fake, you sell the south for steak, that's genetically modified, no wonder you will ride, you work for the other side, you caught the wind of fire to destroy the mines, but not me, young brother, I got the heart of a lion and not the blood of a sucker, I'm like no other, I'm a young black genius, shots for haters only, roll with believers, the system deceives us, who you gonna trust, the holy Bible or a God we trust, of the two you probably pick the latter, 50 million Africans did to you it don't even matter blood spatters from Hunters Point to Johannesburg status 25 for a bird and all my brothers is dying on the streets on the curb my name is Selassie my heart is with the people and my spirit is with my black people my poor people all around the world and we gotta find a way to change this shit we gotta find a way to change this shit and Malcolm X was our best shot Malcolm X was the best shot because he recognized that there was niggas and there's black people. And that niggas is the mentality of a nigga. That don't mean that you a person, just some nigga. You are a black person, you are a black woman, you are a black king, you are a black king. And the nigga syndrome is something that was taught to us by our colonializers. That's not nothing to do with black culture, being a nigga. So if we change being niggas and start being black people, we can change our situation in America and around the world. Thank you very much. My name is Selassie. Uh, folks, so I'd like to, uh, well, first off, let's, see, let's have another big round for Selassie. Give it up. Oh, and, and how about a round for yourself, for all you out here, it's getting a little chilly, it's, been, uh, it's getting late in the evening, but you're still out here, for El Haj Maliko Shabazz, for the big New Hunters Point community, for Malcolm X Day! Yeah! 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 To bring up uh, uh, the Malcolm X Day San Francisco Organizing Committee, that's just a uh, fancy little name for the group of us that decided that we really, that we love this community and that we wanted to have a tribute to our black shiny prince, the Bel Haj Malik Al Shabazz, Malcolm X, celebrating his birthday right here in Hunters Point Bayview community. And uh, so I want to I bring up the, uh, the crew right here and. Uh, this is, this is who you can, uh, this is, we'll take a little credit for anything you liked about today, and this is who you can blame for anything that uh, felt, you felt wasn't so tough about today, but it's a work in progress, because we're going to try and keep this around. They celebrate all these holidays that don't got nothing to do with us all year round just to take our money out of our community, out of our pockets, out of our community. Sell stuff we don't even need, so we need more people's holidays, like Malcolm X Day. 
Malcolm. We want Malcolm. So I'd like to uh, bring up Misha Mohei Arizari. Yeah.